By default, the Azure Cloud Shell uses Bash as its command language. But if you wanted to, you can actually change this. Here on the left side, notice that I have the option to use PowerShell. When I hit PowerShell, it's going to ask me to restart my session. After I hit restart, it's going to create my PowerShell environment for me to start working in. Now that my PowerShell environment is ready, I can start executing commands. One of the differences that you'll notice between PowerShell and Bash is that as I navigate through the directory structure, I'm actually navigating through my Azure account. So it'll show me different things like the various subscriptions that I have available on my account and even the resources. So as you can see, running the DIR command shows me all the different subscriptions that I have. Let's say I want to explore and see what's inside of this particular subscription. I'm going to select it and I'll see the into it like I'm doing like inside of a directory. Now let's see what we have inside of this subscription. And here you could see that I could see the different resources. I could select all resources and get a listing of the different resources that I have available. And there you go. So again, PowerShell is just treating my Azure account like a really big directory structure. We can do a lot more things with PowerShell, as in we could log into virtual machines, we could even run the AZ command and use the Azure CLI, and then we could even import commandlets to add additional functionality to our environment. 